What up, hotheads? I'm Henry, and this is Blaze the Roof. This week, we're reviewing a relative newcomer on the scene named Bear River Bottling, the King of Sting. The company is named Bear River Bottling. It was founded in 2021 by John Meyer, a.k.a. Dr. Scoville. So he did move to Utah from Colorado, I believe, for his Ph.D., and found a lack of spice there. Shocking. Actually, when I was looking for a sauce from Utah, there was only one place there, and I think that was late 2020, so I kind of wish he had been around, maybe gotten there a little sooner, but hey, hey, but things just uh, work out randomly because the universe is built on chaos. <laughs> the city they're out of is Logan, Utah, which is in the Cache Valley. It is known as College Town, not a college town. It's actually called College Town because it is the city that has the main campus for Utah State. The city of Logan was founded in 1859 by settlers sent by Brigham Young to find a place to build a fort near the Logan River. And it was actually named Logan after Ephraim Logan, who was a local fur trader at the time, or fur trapper. Famous people from here include Joahir Ahmed, who is a Somali-American model, and very lovely too. I mean, look at those cheekbones. Those are incredible. And she's shown that she can be a model or in an industry that, uh, without compromising her beliefs. So that's really cool. Rulon Gartner, who is the 2000 gold medal Greco wrestling champion for the United States. Chris Cooley, who is a former fullback for then the Washington Redskins, now the Commanders. And uh, Merlin Olson, who was a former player for the Rams. He's a TV personality. He's come out on commercials. He hasn't been on the scene recently, but yeah, I think he's still around. Or maybe he died. Shit, I gotta look that up. I don't recall. I haven't seen him in a while. So let's look at the packaging. From what I have seen, all of Bear River's bottles, because I bought a four-pack, have have uh, this, em this emblem, right? The logo, which is just a, a bear with a circle in it. It says, Food Elevated. It says established 2017, so I don't know what to believe. I think that's maybe when he started making them and then I think got incorporated or whatever in 2021. But So this one's called the King of Sting. It says on the bottle, honey, bacon, and scorpion pepper. And it is an extra hot sauce. I actually heard about this one from the, speaking of John, May, uh, John Meyer, he is very active on the For Love of Hot Sauce Facebook group. What's cool about him is he doesn't just push his sauces He's very much, he's a really great advocate for other people as well. Very much like Arthur Wayne. Seems like a nice guy. I don't know if all the other bottles have this, but if, as you can see, it's burning in the middle. So it's like if, but all the bottles have like this blue, blue background with the, uh, with the main emblem in the front. So, so it's a consistent look all across the, his entire line. Let's now look at the ingredients on here. The ingredients include vinegar, water, scorpion pepper, habanero, onion, honey, carrot, lemon juice, bacon, butter, vegetable oil, hickory smoke, spices, and xanthan gum. Interesting. The hickory smoke has molasses in it. I did not know that was a thing. The ingredient I want to talk to you about is butter. So butter has been in existence for over 9,000 years. Rumor has it that butter was accidentally discovered when a nomadic horseman tied a bag of milk to his horse. And after a day of riding, the solids had separated, and that's how butter came about. Can't verify that. I wasn't there. The earliest butter was made using yaks, goats, or sheep's milk. Now we use cows. Uh, I don't know about yak milk. Sounds disgusting, but whatever. It takes 10 liters of milk to make 450 grams of butter. So it takes about 2.64 gallons. I'm trying to translate this for y'all since people don't want to use the, the metric system. So it takes about 2.64 gallons uh, to make about a pound of butter. That's a lot. The weight of milk is, or density, shall I say, is uh, 1.03 kilograms per liter. That's a little bit heavier than water, obviously, because it has solids in it. And it has vitamins A, E, D, and K. And no trans fats. Norsemen valued butter so much that they actually buried their dead with butter so that they would have it in the afterlife. Some people get buried with gold. Well, butter can be a golden color. So maybe, hmm, I don't know. Before we get any further, let's hear from this week's sponsor. You may have had many hookahs in the past, but there are no hookahs like ours. Here at Hookah on the Street, we have mobile hookah cards. They will come to your car. Just pull up, roll down your window, and our vendor will satisfy your needs. Our hookahs are made to take a pounding, 
and have holes that will last. Since we are mobile, our selection is limited, so nothing off the menu, please. Suck and blow to your heart's content at Hookah on the Street. Coming soon, Hookah to your door. Now for the moment of truth. Smell bacon. It's promising. How's the smell? Scorpion pepper. So I'm both excited and terrified at the same time. Okay, it's kind of pulpy. It's not the most fluid. It's not the most viscous sauce. It's a bright orange color. You see the, a lot of flecks of other items in here. You could see some pepper pulp in here as well. So it's very pulpy. All right, so I'm gonna be looking for a little bit of sweetness from the honey. Uh, of course, uh, smoky savoriness from the bacon and uh, some heat from the scorpion. Hopefully a little bit of a buttery aftertaste, but we'll see how that goes. All right, well, everyone, cheers. All right, so at the slow rising heat, in the back of the tongue very much where scorpion hits. Does not quite taste like a, bu a buffalo sauce, so it's not quite what I thought it would be. Although, I mean, this would be a phenomenal wing sauce, don't get me wrong. But, you know, buffalo sauces tend to be more vinegary. You can really taste the bacon in this one. So that's awesome. The honey, if it's present, I think it's just like rounding out the flavor. It's not very, uh, it's not quite there in your face. So predominantly it's bacon, the spices. So you could taste the spices like garlic and onion. Maybe a little bit, just a little bit of a sweet edge, but not too uh, uh, powerful there. So it says extra hot on here. Uh, this would be really hot for... Your common folk, yeah, this is a uh, this is a middleweight sauce for me, but very, very flavorful, very tasty, and I finally found a sauce that actually has a real bacon flavor to it. What would I put this on? Because it does have such a pronounced bacon flavor, I would say, I guess, anything you want to put bacon on, you could put this on as well. Again, it's not too vinegary, so it's not, it's not going to taste like a buffalo sauce. This is a little bit more versatile than I thought it would be. You know, I would use this, of course... I'm always going to say pork, right? You could put anything on pork. But I want to try this on some wings. I would not put this on fish. So probably not go good on salads either. <laughs> it would have to be somewhat kind of, like, it doesn't have to be very, something very savory, but, you know, your chickens, your porks, and wings, you know, it's not something that I would put on very many other items. But this is really good. And would I have this in my rotation? It's great. It's a great sauce. And, yeah, I would have this in my rotation. It's that good. It's it's a great sauce for being a newcomer. John Meyer, you're doing a phenomenal job with these sauces. Uh, I can't wait to try your other ones. Unfortunately, I don't know the, the SHUs on this, but if I was judging by middleweight, I would say it tasted it like 70 or 80. Uh, the bite of the scorpion wasn't too much as well. But it, again, it was a slow rising heat, a slow rising action. So very tasty sauce. I like it. Next week, I'll be reviewing a sauce out of Canada named Sinai Gourmet. Uh, tropicante. I think it's tropicante because the accent is on the E. Until then, I'm Henry, and remember, spice up your life. Take care.